college athletes were the only non-professional athletes to be able to get paid for their NIL until less than a month ago when it was announced that high school athletes could now get paid too. U High head football coach Andy Martin states that the news took him by surprise and it'll have to be controlled in order for it to be successful. Um, I think it was something that we saw was eventually going to happen. Um, I didn't realize it was going to happen this quickly. Um, for us, I think the biggest thing is just learning more about what their actual regulations are going to be. Martin believes that NIL for these high school athletes is good, but the future and standards of it aren't certain. It's a great opportunity for these, these guys to, to get these endorsements, but at the same time, right now it's like the Wild Wild West out there. There's no rules, it's this, that, and the other going on. None of Martin's players have yet been contacted about an NIL, but one athlete couldn't believe the news when he heard it. Um, my first thought that was kind of crazy, you know, that like high school players could actually get paid now and like have endorsements with like different companies. So I just thought it was a little crazy at first. Abney states that he believes an NIL could further benefit athletes like himself for not only now, but their future in football. I think it's a good thing, yeah, because if you're starting to do NIL now, then when you get into college, it's a lot bigger when you get there. So I feel like you'd have like a lot of experience with it. The LHSAA has yet to say anything in regards to the NIL and how it will be controlled. For Tiger TV Sports, I'm Mason Burgess. Look at me.